Hello everyone, it's Darkseeker here, and this time we are looking at Gook Boy's Yog saron Mage. Now, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, this is very much a tempo mage. You can see Mana Worm, Flame Waker, Sorcerer's Apprentice, ooh, a Cult Sorcerer as well, um, which all synergize very well with a whole host of different spells, like Arcane Blast, Arcane Missiles, Frostbolt, and so on. You've got Double Water Elemental, which is really good against classes that play weapons. You have Polymorph, which is large removal. Uh, you have Azadrake for card draw and spell damage. One copy of Ethereal Conjurer, because you could argue it's quite slow. Uh, Double Faceless Summoner, which is a tremendous minion. It's uh, essentially a 5-5 body with a 3-cost minion on board. So, really good value for the 6-cost. You have Flame Strike to remove an aggressive board, you have Ragnaros that will do 8 damage to something, uh, either an opposing minion or your opponent's face, and finally the star of the deck is Yog saron Now, Yog saron is essentially a card that will cast a spell, a random spell, uh, for every spell that you've cast in the game, and the targets are random, which is interesting. He can win you games, or he can lose you games. He can pyroblast you in the face. Uh, he can wipe your own board. He can kill himself. So the random spell element of Yog is a lot of fun to witness, um, but he's not a card that you'd play in a competitive deck, and this is not a competitive deck, it's a fun deck, and that's the whole point behind Yogg. If we wanted to play Tempo Mage competitively, we'd replace Yogg with something else, like Archmage Antonidas, or something that actually does something useful from time to time. But Yogg is a very fun card to, uh, to play, so let's have a look at a couple of games and see how Gook Boy's Yogg Mage fares in the Old Gods meta. Starting off against a Hunter here, and Cult Sorcerers are pretty good uh, two drop. It's a good 3-2 body, and it does give us spell damage, so if it survives, Arcane Missiles uh, does benefit. It's a Cthune card, but we don't play Cthune in this deck, we just play the Sorcerer, as I say, for the 3-2 the body and the spell damage. I'm actually going to coin out the ping there. It seems like a waste, but we're going up against a hunter, and you don't want to leave anything on the board here if you can help it. Because if the hunter gets the board, his minions start hitting your face, and he combos that with the hero power, and before you know it, you're actually dead. So he plays the secret, and I'm not quite sure about hunter now, whether it is a viable class in the old gods meta. It was given Call of the Wild, which is an amazing, amazing card, but does it seem as if Hunter's been given anything else that's truly worthwhile? They, they lost Mad Scientist in Standard Mode, and as you can see, he had to play the secret from his hand. Mad Scientist was one of the cards that made Hunter uh, really worthwhile to play, and now that it's gone, you don't get those free secrets anymore. So... A tempo houndmaster, really? Okay, sure. Want to prop the secret? It is a freezing trap, so we just play a tempo flame waker now. So the houndmaster is a good read. It, it tells us, well, he didn't really have anything else that he could have played, and he's just played the princess, which is the hunter legendary from Old Gods but not had any value from it. Yeah. Anyway, with 6 attack we couldn't leave it on board, so we polymorph it, it's a good polymorph target, and we have the board, which is really what's important. Oh, Savannah High Main, okay, that's uh, maybe I should have saved the polymorph. But what we can do is we can play Cult Sorcerer here for 4 mana, and we can just play Arcane Missiles. And the objective is to kill the High Main. We have spell damage on this. Okay, we'll try again. So we get four missiles. Okay, that's good. We actually managed to kill the high main and do some face damage as well. So we're being quite aggressive. Next turn, we have the water elemental or the flame strike. 
And based on the Ram Wrangler coming down, ooh, Kodo's annoying. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a Flame Strike, but that depends on which minion he kills. He's targeting the Flame Waker. I guess that's a wise choice, but we now have a 5 damage. Yes, a 5 damage Flame Strike because of the spell power. That's good. We're getting the Hunter down to 17, and uh, very soon our burn spells, so fireballs, will hopefully be enough to win. Call of the Wild! Wow, that's the card I talked about earlier, and it's such a good card. Such a good card. So much value in that 8 cost spell. All three animal companions down on the board. But we can just fireball. And we play the water rally, so that's fine. We get round it. But that's the fireball that had to kill a minion rather than going face, so maybe that's a bit of a problem. We'll see what he's got. Okay, study shop. So, not got much by the looks of things. How scared is he of the water elemental? Is he going to invest something else into killing that card? Uh, that minion, sorry. Yep, yeah, Hunter's Mark. And hey, it's we've got Ragnaros. Oh, wow. Unleash. He's using Unleash here. We've got Ragnaros next turn. And we've just seen one copy of Hunter's Mark played. So, so let's see what Rag does. Rag says, die, insect. And his 2-4, Leok, says goodbye. Right, so that's good. Oh, Eagle Horn Bow, sure. And the Hero Power. So he's going to try and he, he's trying to race Ragnaros here with the Hero Power and the Bow. That's five damage a turn. I somehow don't think that's going to work out in his favour. So we draw a card. Oh, the Tome is really good. But I may just be tempted here to play Mana Worm and Arcane Intellect, yeah. We get a couple more cards in hand, yeah. Building up burn, and that's it. Yep. Ragnaros won us this game. Who needs Yogg-Saron when you've got Rag? Oh, it's a good win. Heading into our next highlight here, and it's against a mage. Hmm. And we have an interesting opening hand. Mana Worm plus the spells is really good. Yogg-Saron, though, is a dead card in our hand. It's what you want to play in the late game for some fireworks and some fun. Now, we didn't get to play Yogg in that last game. But it does look like, since he's in our hand, that he is going to end up getting played in this game. But let's look at our journey to get to Yogg. Mana Worm is a good start. We have the Frostbolt with the Sorcerer's Apprentice combo. But Arcane Blast may end up being the play here. Uh, no, Frostbolt. We want we can get board presence if we yeah, if we Sorcerer's Apprentice, Arcane Blast, and go face. That's good. So now we're actually developing a second minion with the apprentice. I'm getting board presence. We have the coin and the frostbolt for next turn um, to buff up the mana worm. Like wow, that's really good for him. So it's now apprentice versus apprentice. Let's make magic. Although I've got my frostbolt and I'm back to developing minions on the board. I'm running out of cards, though, that I can play. Yogg-Saron is dead in my hand, and uh, we may have to coin out the Ethereal Conjurer next turn. This is always an interesting debate. Which one of those do you kill if you have a spell? But he's just drawing cards here and passing. But he did target both minions, so that's information. He does have something that he can use to kill him. Um... Cowboy's Tome, we've already have one copy in the deck. Having a second copy is good for us because we can refill our hand. Oh, there's the torch. Okay. So that's what he was considering last turn. And a Doomsayer. Wow. What kind of a tempo mage is this? Is, is this Grinder Mage? Because Grinder Mage tends to play tempo spells and Doomsayers, but. Uh, okay. We can kill it. And 
I'm going to hold off on Arcane Missiles because we want that to actually kill a minion that he plays. Yeah, face damage is nice and all, but I'm not really sure what kind of a mage this is, so I'm expecting Ice Block, potentially, because we've seen Doomsayer. So as I say, if this is Grinder Mage, something like Ice Block would be feasible. And wow, his Flame Waker just sniped a minion. Wow, that's really good RNG. Uh, the question, though, is that's that secret. Is it ice block? Is it counter spell? We're just testing there for counter spell. It's not counter spell, so it must be mirror entity. Um, so we won't play the water rally. Really respecting the potential for mirror entity here, and uh, well, arcane blast is so good here. Zero cost arcane blast and a ping, and once again we're control. Oh wait. Oh, it's Ice Barry. Once again, we're controlling the board. So, okay, uh, I was scared of Mirror Entity. I was scared of Counter Spell. Uh, I was scared of Ice Block. No, it's simply an Ice Barrier. Which actually does very little here because, um, you know, his health total is still in trouble. Flame Strike on those two minions. I guess he respects them enough to do it, which is fine. More spells in hand, and I guess I mean, do I do I want to do I want to play arcane missiles just to get yog value in a couple of turns? Uh, I mean, that'd be foolish, right? Water rally is much better. It's a minion with six health. Going to be difficult for him to take down. He need a fireball. Oh, summoning stone. Sure. Um, oh wow. Okay. Uh, that's card draw for him on death rattle. Wow, that's really good. Um, and we could play the Kabbalist Tome here. We could missiles, arcane blast, hope for the best. Uh, that does nothing, right? Shatter doesn't do anything here. So it's probably Ragnaros. Uh... Okay. Let's see which insect dies here. Oh, right, it went face. Hey, that's not a bad thing, right? We have burn in our hand. Well, one piece of burn that can go face. Okay, missiles. And there's the other flame strike. Right, Cavalist Tome. Oh, he says well played. He thinks he's dead. Um, yeah, he actually thinks he's dead because of Gedon. Um, I think we have lethal. Frostbolt, ping, missiles may give it to us. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, we have lethal now with Frostbolt and Iceland, but I'm not going to kill him. I am not going to kill him. Why? Because I want value out of yogg -Saron. Since you know what, we're just going to continue uh, this game until we get Yog value. I refuse to win this game until we get Yog Saron value. Yeah, because Frostbolt Ice Lance was seven. Oh, it's mounting another comeback. And there's the Emperor. Yeah, so this is sort of a grinder mage. You know, we've seen Doomsayer, Emperor. It's fine. We just flame strike and ping. I am not ending this game until Yog saron gets me value. We have lethal in hand, but it doesn't matter. Ooh, Tome, sure, he's refilling his hand, okay. And a secret. Alright, back to the uh, drawing board again now, because what secret is that? Is it mirror? No. I could use my frostbolt and the ping. Well, no, we don't need to ping. We've got spell damage. But uh, is that counter spell? Let's try with arcade missiles. No, it's not counter spell. Oh, that was pretty good. Ah, okay, sure. He's at six health. What's he gonna do? Honestly. Oh. He plays his own yog -Saron. No, that's meant to be me. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Yogg. <laughs> I was meant to play it first. Um, oh, well, gosh, and he just healed up. 
Wow. Uh, he just healed to 11. And he's hitting my face. Oh, mind vision. That could be bad. Wow, so by delaying this game, by delaying lethal, have I... Have I lost it? Playing my own... Oh, great. Sure. Okay, that does nothing. That does nothing. That does nothing. Secret. That does nothing. That does nothing. That does nothing. That does nothing too. Oh, that does something. Does nothing. Does nothing. Okay. Well, we put him down to five. Sure. Okay. We've played Yogg. We're happy now. So now we can just... Oh, okay. We can just go about trying to win the game. Uh, the question is, of course, is that ice block? That's the question. So this is a summoning stone mage. Okay. Uh, well, there's more burn, right? So I guess we just try Frostbolt, Ice Lance, and see what happens. Pink first. Ice block? Nope. And there we go. Yeah, Yogg-Saron Mage. Lots and lots of fun. Well, when the spells actually do something. <laughs>